Not even over the past few days, people. This has been going on for ages. The Cancel Culture Brigade are trying their hardest to cancel Hogwarts Legacy to boycott the game. And well, it failed. How's it going guys? My name is TPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So you guys are probably aware of the situation around Hogwarts Legacy and Harry Potter in general. A tweet made by JK Rowling ages ago. Uh, where she upset many folks and to be honest was a bit of an idiot. I think we all can mostly say we don't agree with what she said and done and at the end of the day it doesn't matter how big you are it doesn't give you the right to try and be little people or a group of people. If you have an opinion on something which will no doubt upset people especially when you have a platform that big it's probably best to keep said things to yourself. But in saying that what she has created in Harry Potter has reached out to far too many people who truly adore the creation. It's a part of life. Harry Potter is now more than JK Rowling and her opinion on something should not affect the hundreds or thousands of people involved in this franchise. And while that's the issue I have with the cancel culture brigade here, they're literally trying to take away from people based off what one person has said. That one person does not speak for everybody involved in Harry Potter nor this game. We live in a world now where even if what she said was meant to be a joke, you ain't allowed to make jokes without people trying to tear your world apart. And that's what's happening here. Because of one person's mistake, they think they can try and tear down a universe. It just isn't happening. I said this before and I'll say it again. People will 100% support you. They will 100% support the cancel culture. They will back them 100% until they try and cancel something they are into. The problem here is the Harry Potter fanbase is utterly massive. The whole boycott of a game was never ever going to happen. And while guys, with them trying everything, even editing tags within Steam to portray the game in a negative manner. Yes, they swoop this a little. But even still, it's not going to work. And well, they have failed massively. You know why? Because Hogwarts Legacy is now a top selling game on Steam. A game that isn't even out yet. It's currently at the top of those charts. It was like 6th or 7th the last time I looked. The Council Culture Brigade tried to destabilize it and, and edit those tags and then it went top of the charts. As I make this video right now guys, 20 hours after this all kicked off with those Steam tags, it's still a top 5 selling game. A game that isn't out yet. That's absolutely crazy. A game they tried to cancel. Utterly ridiculous. Like I said, there are a few things you can't cancel in this world. Up there with religion, we have things like Harry Potter. Can you imagine how angry some of the people are who are trying to boycott this game when they see how well it's already selling? Hilarious. And that's the thing, people need to know when to stop, when they try and take something too far and when they also mess with the wrong audience because man, shit has backfired badly in them trying to do this and it is amazing. All I know is Hogwarts Legacy is top of my list of games to play and I can't wait. I won't let JK Rowling or any deluded walk cancel culture brigade ruin this game for me. Buying this game supports the devs who created it, supports many many lives and possibly future amazing games and well that's good enough for me. On that note the end of the video has arrived, if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.